today we are going to learn about the PWM control and the PWM control can be used for the controlling of intensities of LEDs and uh, speed of motor can be varied with the help of PWM control in arm 7 we have to program the following registers these registers are used for the controlling the width of the pulse with the help of that we can control the width of the pulse and with from which we can vary the intensity of LEDs or we can control the speed of motor there are these following registers which have to be programmed for the width control of the pulse the first register is pwm pcr this is a programmable control register firstly this is to be reset and then we have to put this value for setting and the pwm pr register is the scaling register this is for pre scaling function and the PWM R0 register is for the setting the highest width of the pulse. For example, if we have the pulse width of 1000 width, this is set for the highest width and we MR1 we have to put the value which we desired for the pulse if we want 50 percent duty cycle we will set this to 500 to 50 percent duty cycle for 25 percent duty cycle we will put the value to 50 in the PWM R1 register and the PWMR0 register is for the whole value of the pulse and the PWM MCR this is a match control register this is the value in the MR1 and MR0 is matched then it will set a flag that is for the matching control of the PWM and in the PWM ER register it is enabling of PWM this is the PWM TCR it is for the 8 bit timer control registers for more details you can pick the data sheet of LPC2148 and in that you can search simply PWM PCR about these registers and get details according to the program in the programming section you have to just check the status of switch the switch is connected like that port 0 1th bit port 0 2nd bit and port 0 3rd bit and I am programming that if this bit is 0 then the PWM control is going to be give 25% duty cycle and this is giving to 50% duty cycle and this is 75% duty cycle and in this way the intensity of LED will be controlled if this is, is pressed then intensity will be according to 2500 that is 25 percent duty cycle and the intensity will be increased if the switch 2 is pressed and in the same way intensity will be again increased up to 75 percent duty cycle in this way we can control the intensity of the led or in the similar way we can put a dc motor here and in the same way we can control the speed of dc motor see the code for the pwm control in the code the first line is the header file of the LPC2148 and the second two lines are the functions for initializing the PWM and initializing the clocks. In the initialization function, the firstly we have to control the PLL0 and after that we have to configure to the mode and after that we have to feed a field sequence that is 0 cross AA and 0 cross 55 and we have to check the condition whether the pulse have come or not and bit sequence has been sent and after that vb divider is equal to 0 cross 0 1 for the clock to be as 60 megahertz in int pmw function we are configuring the port 0 as a pwm control and in the in the init pwm function firstly we have pin selected and set the mode to work as a pwm and uh, we have to set the pre scale register to value 60 minus 1 that will be 59 and that will be added by 1 and uh, that will be same as our vpb divider and uh, this will be after divided 60 divided by 60 will produce 1 megahertz and after that we have match register 0 and match register 1 in the match register 0 we have to set the full length of our pulse and in the pwm r4 we have to choose the minimum length of the pulse and this is the for maximum length of the pulse and this is for the minimum length of the pulse after that we are controlling the bits this is for match control register and this is for the latch enable register and pwm cr is for the starting of the pwm here pwm cr is equal to 0 cross 0 0 for resetting the pwm and this is pwm pcr is equal to 0 tenth bit is getting set and due to this PWM will be started and after that this is for the timer control register coming to the main program in the while one loop we are using 
pins of port 1 that pins are 16 17 and 18 and 19 four switches are connected on these pins and when we press the 16th number pin the length of the pulse will be 2500 and when we press the 17 number pulse then the length of the pulse will be corresponding to 5000 when we press the 17 number pin then the length of the pulse will be 5000 and when we press the switch number 3 which is connected on the 18 number pin of port 1 then the pulse width will be 7500 and after that at, at lastly when we will press the our fourth pin then the pulse width will be 10000 and uh, at this level the brightness will be maximum Let's see the practical implementation of PWM control in which we are controlling the intensity of LED this LED and let's power the board we have powered our board LED intensity is minimum and instead of switch we are using such jumper wires from different different nodes for displaying the different contrast level of the LED this is the switch one and switch 2 and this is switch 3 that this is switch 4 let's connect the first switch the intensity is minimum because it is set at the minimum level now check the second switch you have seen that intensity has been increased now check the third switch and we will see that intensity will be increased again let's check the fourth switch and which is final again you will notice that intensity will be again increased in the same way we can use the in decreasing of intensity So this is the minimum intensity, thank you very much.